All right, let's get into it. Welcome back. We have uh, another story about Tesla's piling up, inventory backing up. Uh, people are just not interested in EV cars anymore. The um, infrastructure isn't there. The charging stations cannot be relied upon because if you're traveling far distances, you get to a charging station and you find the cables have been cut because thieves want the copper in the cables. And what are you going to do? You have no way to charge. Uh, side note is in Europe, they make you bring your own charging cable to the recharging station because they probably have the same problem. Thieves abound everywhere. You know, if you can't make something, you steal it. And that just seems to be human nature, right? Uh, so here we have Tesla's unsold inventory is creating stockpiles you can see from space. So which is kind of interesting because Musk has SpaceX. Maybe we're using his Starlink satellites to look down on his massive inventories piling up. And again, like I said, it's all industry. It's all manufacturers right now with cars. Cars are just overpriced. People can't afford a $95,000 pickup truck. It's just ridiculous. And uh, you're not even calling it a car loan anymore. They're calling it a car mortgage. And if you cannot buy a car with cash, you should not be buying a car. You should not be getting into these long-term auto loans. But again, people that are watching these videos know that the people that should learn this and should be watching videos on how not to get into these car mortgages and spend 90000 on a pickup, don't watch videos about that. They just go do it because it's impulse buy. And who cares? Then they go broke or then they get repoed. Yeah, not a wise business. Well, not a wise financial move to be buying a car right now. Oh, anyway, let's get back into it. Yeah, Tesla, Tesla's on my, my, Tesla's on my, uh, doghouse because I did have their stock. It tanked. I lost about 35, 40%. And uh, then I was able to vote whether Musk got his huge billion dollar payout. I said no. I went against everything the Tesla board recommended in the proxy voting. I said, I don't believe any of these guys. I don't trust them. They're out to just to take money from the uh, shareholders. Uh, I just don't think you should get the payout because the company tanked, dude. I mean, come on. If you're making, if you're making uh, money for the Tesla stock uh, shareholders, yeah, get your multi-billion dollar payout. But no, not right now, dude. You should be um, giving that back to the shareholders, man. Anyway, that kind of irks me a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead. Tesla unsold inventory is creating stockpiles you can see from space. Where have all the Teslas gone? They are stored in parking lots, every one. Uh, and they can show this. I'm going to show you some photos of before and after. And this is, has been reported amongst uh, people in other channels. Uh, they're driving through California. You see re these remote parking uh, lots filled with Teslas, just sitting there, unsold Teslas. Uh, not to even mention Hertz dumping off uh, thirty thousand plus used Teslas on the market. Uh, that is going to lowball the price down to twenty thousand or fifteen thousand on, on a Tesla. Yeah, it's not looking good for the EV world right now. So let's go through this. There's a surplus is happening as electric car company deals with a number of headwinds. Uh, slowing electronic, uh, electric vehicle sales growth, competition, and uh, chaotic leadership. I don't know about that, but uh, there's been some recent turnover at Tesla. I just think the bottom line is there's no interest in EV cars. There's just no more interest. The early adopters have come through and they purchased. I was one of those back in 2015, 2014. I bought my Model S and sold it like, two years later, but the interest is gone. The early adopters have their cars. There's no much, uh, not more demand from the uh, middle, lower class to buy a Tesla. I mean, if you live in an apartment or places, you, where are you going to charge it? You're going to run an extension cord out your window up three flights of stairs? No, you're not going to do it. So the early adoption's over. Uh, the infrastructure isn't there. The power stations, like I said, the cables are being cut. You can't count on uh, going across to these supercharged stations and, uh, and hope that it's going to work. You want to make sure it's going to work. So it's just not there. Plus the cost of insurance. And then also the um, maintenance. Uh, basically, if you get in a wreck, it's totaled because the repair cost is, is more than the car is worth. And now they're dropping the prices. So it's just, why, why would you want to get into that? Just give me a nice combustion engine. That I know I can go fill up in five minutes and keep driving across the country and not worry about a charging station being down. So, yeah, I just think, again, demand is down, interest is down. 
Uh, and it's not just EVs, mainly EV. All right. The EV, like I said, early adopters have got their cars. They got their Teslas. They're all good and good and happy. People have bought this Tesla truck. It's a turd. It's rusting. They just did a recall on the accelerator pedal. Uh, people don't like them. They're just something's wrong with the software. Something's wrong with the hardware. And people can't unload them now because they got that agreement. You cannot sell them within the first year. Otherwise, you'll get fined 50000 bucks or sued for 50000 bucks from Tesla. And the reason they did that, which makes sense, but maybe doesn't make sense, is they didn't want like the competition to buy the Tesla truck and then reverse engineer it. Well, I don't reverse engineer it. There's lots of problems with it. So it's only going to be like, um, like a, what do you call that? False information going out here, take this and reverse engineer it. It'll just ruin your business while we perfect our own design and uh, continue on with it. So I don't know. You got to think about that. Uh, you never buy something the first year. It comes out anyway. And the, the fools that went and bought the Cybertruck, you get what you get. You don't get upset. All right, let's go on. Let's just get to the juice of this. Uh, my point here being the interest in EVs has dropped. The early adopters have already got their cars. The infrastructure is not there. Just the uh, fire hazard of having a, not just a Tesla, but any EV can burn down your house. Random fire, thermal runaway. You get in an accident, these cars catch on fire. It takes a ton of water to put these things out, and then they may reignite due to a uh, like thermal runaway. So the uh, tow tow truck drivers will drive these things to the pound, the lot, and they will actually reignite sometimes on the uh, on the truck or in the yard. So they actually separate them by fifty feet in case they reignite due to the uh, thermal runaways on the battery. So again, it's just so many bad things. So it's getting such a bad stigma. So it's like they said, it could be the greatest car ever made, but now the perception of EVs is no, don't do it. Even a EV, even electric bicycles now, the batteries and stuff, you got to watch out. They can burn your apartment down, burn your house down. You got to watch out for this lithium ion stuff. It's actually may not be 100% factual, but it's in people's minds now and it's killing the EV industry. And also when the government's telling you to do something, you got to buy an EV. That's a red flag to say, you do not want to buy it. Anyway, let's get into the photos. Uh, here we have, this is the Tesla Gigafactory in Austin, Texas, which is imploding. Uh, I think that's a Blue Run city in uh, a little Blue Run oasis in Texas. Democratic run, and it's, it's become a poop hole. It's just falling apart. And again, I'm, you can look at it either way from what ideology you believe in. Look at the facts. People are now leaving Austin. The city is homeless everywhere. It's imploding. Tesla moved in there, and then now they're hurting. And then, uh, I don't know. That's my other rant about that whole thing. But uh, here we have Austin. Look at it. It even spells Tesla on the roof. How cute. Uh, so here we have their Austin plant. Their lots are now full. Here, see my little green circle of truth? Full, full, full. These lots are all now filled up. So you can see the capacities over here with the coloring. But let's go look at the uh, SkyFi map from maybe not even a year ago. So let's go over to SkyFi. This is app.skyfi.com. And this shows you the geo area of the same location, the geo, the geo, the Tesla Gigafactory. See the building, Tesla. And here's the lots, they are empty. This has workers cars in it, I think, or something. Or something not it's not even full. Can I zoom in? It doesn't oh there we go. Yeah, there's some cars there, right? This one's not even has a spattering of cars right there. So it's that lot and it's this outer lot. Pretty empty, right? Do you see that? Pretty empty. And let's go back to the other one. Oh, wow. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Those are two full. We already knew that was kind of filled up. So now these massively larger lots are completely filled up. Let's go back one more time. Oh, wow. I missed this one. This one's completely empty. This is all now filled up. Wow. That's a lot of cars backing up. And yeah, like I said, people are driving around and say Fremont, California. They come across all these random parking lots filled with Teslas. Uh, unsold Teslas. You have Hertz dumping their $30,000 inventory or used cars on the market the prices are being dropped you can actually get probably a tesla cheaper than you get a, a new car uh internal combustion engine car because they're just unloading them and it's 
drop into value immensely. So 20,000, 15,000 for a Model 3. Just go online and start looking. Hertz is dumping them. All right, what else do we got? I think that's pretty much what I just want to cover is it's happening, man. All these lots are filling up. 99. Oh, here we go. And here we go. It just keeps filling up. Oh, this one. I missed this lot down here. That's the little square lot. Let's go see that one real quick. Uh, yeah, okay. There's a couple cars there before. Now they're saying it's completely full. Yeah, that one's full. How far does this go back? Uh, what's this one? This is a mall. Oh, the, this is a um, satellite image of Chesterfield Mall. It's a soon-to-be demolished mall in St. Louis. And then there have been uh, massive uh, amounts of Teslas being stored in these parking lots as well. So there's Tesla cars, zero. Now there's 465. So all, we're also witnessing, in addition to the EV fad dying out, the malls are gone. The malls are hopeless. Maybe turn them into uh, homeless housing. Who knows? But uh, the malls are dead. I hated malls when they were around. I just thought they were disgusting. Uh, trying to go there and park and deal with people. It's just my goal was to get in, get out. Get in in a short amount of time. Get what I need to get the hell out of the mall. I hate malls. I'm glad they're kind of gone. So there we got the cars. Tesla backing up. Holy mackerel. Look at this. Tesla California. It's filling up. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. We are unable to get a comparable satellite imagery of Tesla's Fremont factory, but a series of drone videos by a YouTuber show what looked to be increasingly cramped lots across the property. Here's a flyer from last week. Ooh, can I watch this? How long is this? Here we go, this is Fremont. I'll mute that. He said, I don't know, that's copyrighted. I'm amazed he's allowed to fly his drone. It's probably private airspace. Look, they're dumping them in the, in the grass now. They're just pumping them out too fast and nobody's buying them. Look at this. I did, like I said, I dumped my Tesla stock, took the, took the hit because I did not see it coming back anytime soon. And here they're coming out. Look at this. And then they, what, they laid off 10 to 15% of the workforce. They're probably going to lay off a lot more because earnings are going to come out soon. I think July is the next earnings report. It's going to tank the stock. Oh, my. Let's go through this real quick. Look at that. That's a lot of vehicles. Anyway, that's all. Enough of that. You, got, you get the gist of it. Uh, things are backing up, and you can just drive by any car dealer, but mostly it's the EV Tesla's being nailed. Uh, but any car dealership, Toyota, Ford, GM, Dodge, the trucks are piling up. People are not dumb. They're not going to drop 90000 even above 70000 for a stupid pickup truck. That's a depreciating item that's going to fall, fall apart in four years. And you're getting six-year loans on them. People are crazy, man. The amount of money you're spending on, an, on a freaking truck or a car at that price, you could hire your own Uber driver. Figure it out. Say 20 bucks a lift. How many times do you go out? I mean, I don't know. Get a bicycle. <laughs> Get a scooter. I don't know, man. It's just crazy. All right, what do you think? What's going to happen? I know the, uh, I, I still swear by there's an, an, an impending economic collapse coming bigger than we've ever seen. It's all being propped up now by the Fed and uh, one, just kind of to uh, politicize, to shore up the current regime in power. And um, once we get close to the election, I think everything's going to fall through the floor. And uh, do not be left holding the bag if you have stocks in that. My advice is you might be good until... Eh, in the July, August, but you may want to start going to cash or something safer because you're going to be left holding the bag and then you're never going to get that money back. It's going to be probably a lost decade where the markets don't do anything like in the 70s where they just go flatline. So you're going to be like negative 40%, 50% on your stock for 10 years and you're never going to get that back. So I don't know. I would just play it safe right now. You may be, like I said, have a month or two uh, till we get closer to the election and then it's just all going to go to pure crap and then it's not going to be good guys have cash uh and just be smart about it don't invest too heavily in the stock market right now all right i'm out on that note what do you think about all this tesla stuff do you guys have a tesla yeah i mean it's probably a good car i mean i had mine it was all right 
But again, you just got to think of the logistics, the insurance, the maintenance. And what are you doing that battery needs replaced? Is that $20,000 bill? Whereas on my Tacoma, which I swapped the Tesla for, I just got to go out and maintain the fluids, change the plugs, change the filters, rotate the tires, and I'm good to go for another 5,000, 10,000 miles. All right, on that note, I'm out. What do you guys think? Talk to you later. Boom.